Now I have to calculate the income tax. As if there is some value here, let us calculate it. Later, we'll try to put some figures here. Then automatically the income tax will change. Then we will see how we can create a data table which can help us uh, to take a printout as a template. To calculate the income tax, I'm sure many of you already familiar, we can use the if function. I always consider if function is one of the very important basic function. If you are at the primary level, you can solve most of the things by using the if function. But the problem of the if function is you have to have the nested thing. So that's the reason whoever using the latest version of Microsoft Excel, you can just go to the formulas tab, logical functions, if is the function, we use it. If you are using the latest version, you may find the function called ifs. The only difference between if function and ifs function is in the if function, you have to put the nested. But in the ifs function, you need not to write the if again as a second nested or third nested. You can directly start giving if at all it is false, directly you can give a logical condition and so on. This is what generally we follow. But than that, I can tell you another simple formula, which is actually a very small one. Comparatively, the if function. It's not about friends in, in MS Excel. Writing the formula, you should also keep in mind whether the formula what we are using is simple, easy to understand, and short. Many people write bigger formulas, like one kilometer, half kilometer. Even to check those formulas, review, we get headache. So always try to see, is there any better way to shorten the formula? That's the reason even the URLs, there is a short URL. Okay, we, we call it as a tiny URL. We go to a website called tiny URL or short URL. We can create any big URL as a small URL because it is very easy to share to the other person. It is very easy even to type the other person and so on, right? Let me introduce you a different calculation. If you're already familiar, not a problem. If not, concentrate. I use a function called max. Max and min function are very powerful, but many people may not use it effectively. Many situations where you need to take something top or bottom, max and min help you a lot. In this case, I would like to take the max function. Why I'm taking the max function? Because income tax rates always highest one we consider. That means wherever the tax is more, that I consider. Let's take zero as the first value. Why I'm taking zero? Because if anything between zero to 250,000, then I need not to pay anything. It is zero. I hope you all are clear on this aspect. If my value is between these two, then what I need to do? Simple, from year till year, right? So whatever the taxable income minus 250,000, I'll just close bracket, concentrate carefully, into 5%. But friends, this is till 5 lakh. But do you know, till 5 lakh in the old tax regime, anyway, tax is not there. I hope you are getting my point, what I'm saying. Till 5 lakh anyway, if anyone's taxable income is less than 5 lakh, they need not to pay single rupee of tax because whatever the tax, they will get as a rebate. So that's the reason I am not considering this. I'm not considering this. But if you select this, this is the new change in Microsoft Excel. If you are using Office 365, earlier to get this value, I'm going to use a shortcut called F9. But if you want to know the result for a part of your formula, just select it, you will get as a screen tip. I hope you all have seen there is a minus 12,500, there is a screen tip. Very good update, right? Now what I'm going to do, I want to directly take if it is less than 10 lakh. If it is less than 10 lakh, anyway till 5 lakh, 12,500 is my tax. You may ask the question, why Mr. Saran 12,500? First, before even writing this formula, let me insert this. This is basically a bracket, this minus this into 5%. Okay, that 5% is nothing but this. Enter. That means 
if the income is, let me put the comma format, don't worry. Yeah, if the income is exactly till 5 lakh, 12,500 is the 5 percent value. If the income is between 5 lakh to 10 lakh, that means 1 lakh is for this lab. That means if the income is above 10 lakh, 1 lakh 12,500. For this purpose, I have written this formula. Let me write the same formula here. Right? If the income is between the slab of 3 to 6 lakh, he need to pay 15,000. Let me copy this and paste here. This is for us, uh, for me, easy to know if I am above 9 lakh, how much minimum I should pay. If I am above 12 lakh, how much minimum I should pay. If I if above 15 lakh, how much amount of minimum I should pay. For that reason, I kept this column. This can be a helper column, which may be hel very helpful for us. Let us write the formula called max. Zero, comma. As I mentioned, less than 5 lakh, I don't want to consider. So, 12,500 plus this taxable income minus, minus, I need to take whether 5 lakh or 10 lakh. Now, I am writing a formula if it is between 5 to 10 lakh. That means it is above 5 lakh. So, take 5 lakh into, into, I want to take 20%. So let's take this into 20%. Because this is till 5 lakh and this is from 5 to 10 lakh, right? If it is above 10 lakh, anyway, he need to pay 1 lakh 12,500, 1 lakh 12,500, right? Plus then 1 lakh 12,500 plus above 10 lakh is till 10 lakh, this value of taxable income minus 10 lakh into 30%, right? Close bracket. I want to take the maximum of this. I hope you are clear. When I take a zero, if it is uh, between this lap, if it is between five to 10 lakh, this is the one. If it is between above 10 lakh, this is the one. Let me enter. Now, if I go here, if I can put 5 lakh, what happened? What happened here? Concentrate everyone. Let me put uh, this one right side. This has given me a wrong answer because still 5 lakh, there should not be any tax. When I have taken now this, it is zero. Then 12,500 till 5 lakh is anyway zero. So, 0 into 20 percent is 0. So, 12,500 is the total value of this. This is a negative value because I have taken 5 lakh minus 10 lakh into 30 percent is a negative value. So, 1 lakh 12,500 minus negative value which is bigger automatically another negative value. So, uh, it is going to compare 0. It's going to compare 12,500. It's going to compare this negative value. Total put together is higher value 12,500. But here there is a question, till 5 lakh rupees, I need not to pay any tax. That's the reason on top of this, on top of this, I'll put a simple function. If my taxable income is greater than or equal to, sorry, less than or equal to 5 lakh, I don't want to pay any tax. If it is not the case, then you please consider this. Simple. I hope you all are clear what I'm saying. If it is less than or equal to 5 lakh, take 0. If not, then take directly, compare directly these two figures. Even this 0 is also not required for me. So let me remove this 0. Enter. Wow. If you take anything, 4 lakh 50,000, nothing. Then 2 lakh 50,000, nothing. If I say 6 lakh till 5 lakh, 12,500, 5 lakh to 6 lakh, that is 20%, 32,500. So 20,000 plus 12,500. 